Cubs and Padres. Series open. We'll pick this one up. Top of second inning, Ian Happ with bases loaded, and he's feeling good riding that eight-game hitting streak. Let's make it nine on a full count. Nico, talk. They come on down. Cubs in the blink of an eye with a 2-0 cushion swing. Nice piece of hitting right there. Getting that 3-2 cutter in. Nice double. Our nice single. So. Oh, yeah. Cody Bellinger with bases stuffed. Uh, this, an RBI two-sacker. That is what you file in the nice double category. And how about Jed talking defense early on? It's part of why it's really important to have Morrell keep getting better and better at third so we can keep that D8 spot open for a lot of guys. Did he stress the importance of Christopher Morrell playing defense at the hot what? corner? Oh, Nando with the dribbler. No glove necessary swing. That was unbelievable. Bare mm. hand coming in, off balance, slanging it over there. Nice uh, stretch there by Bush. You know who was a fan of that play? Tommy Manson. <laughs> <laughs> he really loves the defense. Uh, Christopher would get it done at the dish as well. That one drummed down the line. And just like that, Ian Happ, well, you are free to roam about the base pass. Cubs increasing. Well, Six to zero after that. Morell makes the good play and then comes up with the big knock. And then Dansby, he's been banging the ball all around the yard with two on and two out. Nearly went bridge right there. Base is clearing triple. 8-0 advantage, Dansby. Strolled in the third in uh, the Peter Parker celebration. It was alive and well. Now, Javier, he would come out for another inning. I, I would have sent him out as well. At 89 pitches, one on, no out. Jake Cronenworth says, yeah, sure, why not? Bring him back out. It's right in that zone. Yeah. I mean, this really was the only bad pitch that he made of the yep. day. You talk about him coming out for that sixth inning mm -hmm. and really just giving up that two-run homer. Yeah. Exit Assad, enter Jose Quas and Hassan Kim. Uh, Three-sacker. Two would score. The Cubs lead cut to four, but they still had a comfortable lead right there. Eight to four. Yeah, the, the, the Padres weren't coming back, right, Swing? Yeah, well, the Quas uh, just came in, and they scored three runs quick, and they were ambushing him early, swinging first pitch. Mm -hmm. Luke Little in on this mm -hmm. one. Xander Bogarts up, up, and away. Two-run poke. The fans giving them reason to cheer out there. Yeah, and, and Bogarts is a veteran hitter. No hits coming into there, had a walk, but just goes in there and pulls that inside fastball at 97. Don't want him to beat you, but he did. So Craig Council will go to his closer, bottom of the eighth, and Fernando Tatis Jr. is one of the reasons why kids rip packs. They want his car because they can do things like that, Swing. Well, you almost wish that first pitch did hit him, right? I oh. mean, that first pitch almost hit him, and then sitting on that slider away, 1-0 count, homer to left. Yeah, Nando woke up and chose violence. And then the last hope for the Chicago Cubs, Garrett Cooper, but uh, old Bob Suarez throwing absolute crack tic tacs, triple digits with regularity. And no doubt about it, that stuff is hard to hit, Sweet. Yeah, we're seeing more and more closers throw 100, and that he, Suarez was not going to the breaking ball. He was going right after Cooper right there. The Cubs now 5 and 3, when scoring first, and they, they moved to 2 and 2 in series opener.